Here we are at Fieldcrest High School, where two teams have started a war. Mr. Kowalczyk of Team TK and Ms. Shoemaker of Team Shoe, all for one golden duck. We're here to see what happens next. How did the battle of the golden ducks start? Uh, Mrs. Shoemaker had told me about the golden duck competition she wanted to do for her classroom. And I decided immediately that I needed the golden duck and asked her for it. And she told me that I couldn't have it. So I thought, instead of throwing myself on the ground and pouting like a child, I would decide to steal the duck. What's your role in this battle? Um, I guess I'm the head of the other team, right? So then you'd have Mrs. Schumacher and then me. So I don't know how really that divvies up as we haven't, like, drawn a fine line of who's on whose side. Uh, you currently have the duck as a I currently have the duck. What is it, the real one? Um, well, that just depends on whether or not the current evidence is correct or not. What's your plan for the future of this whole duck? Uh, I'm just going to keep moving it around and kind of playing a shell game, and then just see who has the duck when she's ready to give it away as her prize. Do you guys have an end goal for your battle? Yeah, whoever has the duck when she's ready to give it away, they are the winner. But how would she give the duck away if she doesn't have it? Right, they, so if I have the duck when she's ready to give it away, then she has to ask me to give the duck away for her. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. How did this whole feud start with the golden duck? Well, when I brought the golden duck to school, Mr. Kowalczyk believed that he should have rights to time with the golden duck, even though it was my duck. And so I politely told Mr. Kowalczyk that he would not be having my duck, and he decided to act like a child and decided that he was going to steal the duck because I wouldn't let him just have the duck. What's your role in the battle of the duck? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what my role in the battle is anymore. I'm just the duck mom. I just want my duck to come home. I just want him to be safe and not have to worry about vengeful other cohorts in the building taking him. Um, do you have any team members helping you out? I don't. Just you? It's just me. Uh, what's, your, what's your plans for the future with this? Where do you see this going? Like for real or like, like just with the duck being stolen back and forth? Just. Because this real. just came yeah. about kind of crazy. I didn't even know this was going to come about. Like, what do you, what do you see happening? Like, what do you want to happen? Well, my original plan was that winning the Golden Duck would be a school-wide competition between all the students. So it would be point-based, and the kids would be able to do different activities, like trivia with certain teachers, and you could earn points, or you could do certain things on celebration days, and your teams could win points. You could bring you know, cans in for a canned food drive and win points, and then at the end of the semester, whoever had the most points in the school would be the winner of the Golden Duck Award. That was my original intent. And where has that gone now? It has gone into complete and utter chaos. You think Kowalczyk <laughs> is in the wrong for what he did? I think that Mr. Kowalczyk is wrong. <laughs> And I think he's funny, and I think he's going to lose anyway, so it doesn't matter. He's going to lose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Team Shoemaker for the win? Team Shoe's going to win this. What is your opinion on the Golden Duck feud? I think it's fabulous. Um, I've not seen our faculty laugh and really come together in, in quite a few years, so I, I think it's funny. What is your role in the Battle of the Golden Duck? Uh, I've aligned myself with Mr. Kowalczyk. Uh, my role is to aid in the struggle for freedom, uh, serve as a counter, serve as a confidant, serve as an ally for all of those who are on the side of justice, liberty, freedom. Are you sure your side is the right side? 
I think I think our side is the right side because I've heard from a lot of people where it's like, oh, you stole the duck. Don't take things that aren't yours. You know, but did me and Mr. Kowalczyk take the duck? Or did society necessitate the need to take the duck? Is it the systems that are in place that necessitate for us to be in this way? We are in possession of a duck. And we're going to hold our cards to our chest. Because as Sun Tzu said in his Art of War, all, wherefore, all warfare is based on deception. If your opponent is of caloric temperament, seek to irritate him and steal their ducks. It's so complicated. There, there's a lot of history to this. Um, because Kowalczyk, Mr. Kowalczyk told me he had, he had a really funny idea if he got in the duck. And I'm like, okay, I think that's funny, and I want to see that come to fruition because I'm a bit silly. And so then I kind of cast my lot into the side of freedom and justice. What are your, uh, what's your plans for the future with this whole duck feud? How can we keep this as, as funny as it can be without it disrupting the classroom environment and if anything serving to bring the community together? Because I think that it's just a duck, but I think it's a symbol because I think both staff and students alike have been kind of brought closer together by this. What's your, uh, what's your team's end goal? You guys have an end goal, do you know? Our Avengers end game is to get the duck back. That's it? Just, just get the duck back? No, no actual end you. goal? I'm not telling you. Why would I broadcast it? Stay tuned. There's still more to learn about this intense story of the Golden Duck.